Greetings YouTubers, uh, this is going to be my first video posted up on YouTube. Uh, I just want to show you guys a little bit of the minecart rail system that I have in my world. Uh, first things first though, for everyone who is wondering, the texture pack I have installed is this one right here. Default, Zywaker. I think I said that right. Anywho. Uh, for my map, I have basically taken the flatland map and put a giant wall around it because I wanted to build a huge castle area that I can host my own server on and just play with my friends. So let's go ahead into the world here uh, to let you guys know as well. I do have a fly mod. I have too many items and I have also edited just about everything in here with MC Edit. Uh, I'll post links to all three of these in the descriptions so if you're interested you can go ahead and use them. Pretty good mods. Uh, so to give you a idea this place is huge. It is a thousand twenty two by thousand twenty two blocks and I would be a lot farther behind than I am right now if I had to actually physically put in every single block. I'd probably still be working on the outer wall. So that's that. So since this place is so huge, I figured I need an easy way to get from the entrance to the inner area. So I went ahead and built the minecart stations. This one leads to the south gate and the southwest section. Currently, do not have a place to store minecarts in here. Just gotta add that. And then the southwest section has no tracks, as you can see. But to the gate, it's almost entirely completed. This is the return place. As you can see, this is the detector rail. Show you here so texture pack isn't confusing you. Oh, I always have a hard time finding these. Anywho, regular rail. You guys have probably found this already. There we go. That's the detector rail there. It's blue. And then the powered rail is green. Sorry, that's the powered rail, not the detector rail. Uh, so, looked on YouTube, found a video, it showed decent way to do this, put the minecart on here. Since the power rail has no power, it will hold the minecart there. Jump in it, press a button, and you go. I put the extra wall there just so, you know, it's harder for other things to get in. Uh, more on that later. I have a detector rail that's leading to a powered rail by a redstone system just underneath. It's a fairly simple one. I'll show you that in a moment and it just gets you from A to B a little bit faster than walking. Uh, got torches up along the pathway, keep it well lit. Ow. Uh, so, get rid of that. So, and that stops you there. It won't fall off, won't go backwards, nothing like that. No runaway minecarts. It's great. Um, also, as I go through this, you saw I got hurt both times. Uh, I've heard that if you put a transparent block there, it actually stops that damage. Uh, you don't get suffocated just because it's a transparent block. So let's go ahead and try that right now. So it actually works. All right, so I'll be replacing those. A uh, very good system. Oh, just as a side note, I have put in my own texture for the glass, just because I want my glass to be clear so I can see through it. Anyways, now we're about halfway through. Stop through here. I don't like snow. It falls everywhere in here. It gets over everything when I'm building. Uh, ooh, snowballs. Uh, so, this track is going from the right to the left. So you have the detector rail here, the powered rail there. So, to show you guys. I'm going to dig up a little portion up here. And 
this goes with the simple concept of uh, redstone torches that if you set them up a certain way, one will be off, one will be on. Forget what it's called, it doesn't really matter. Uh, sandstone, by the way. So when someone goes onto the powered rail, the sorry, the detector rail, it'll push the button, activate this redstone, turn the torch off, that'll be off, so that'll turn back on, and thus power the booster rail for a few seconds. Uh, the advantage of having this system in place is that, say you have minecart run away for somehow it's managed to get away, or you don't want people going backwards, push it, goes, uh, it stops, doesn't go. And if you do it, the, so no power and everything. If you do it the other way though, like say you, you're working out here and you want to go somewhere, push it, jump in, powers you, boom, you're on your way. Pretty simple, nice system. I put rail uh, fencing up because these pigs and cows and chickens always get in my way. Oh, that's a snowball fight in the future. Um, so yeah, fairly simple system. This is, let's see, this entire rail is about 200 units long. Uh, watched videos and stuff, the powered rail can push you about 87 trap lengths, but it's a little bit slow at the end. So I've put these, this setup about every 20 blocks, so there's 10 of these along the rail, and it pushes me along quite fine. If you want, you can put them every 10 blocks or so, just, you know, if you want to go faster, you want to get going, whatever. I didn't feel it was necessary. Uh, MC Edit made this very easy to do because created the system, copied it, basically pasted it along, built the entire track, copied the entire track, pasted it along this entire way, uh, copied the entire thing, pasted it onto there, so on and so forth, and I have currently eight of these in the entire world. So uh, that's that. Very nice system. Uh, yeah. Hope you enjoy the video.